In the order they came, or in whichever order you like. Okay. Kimani Chungwa. Thank you, Honorable uh, Speaker. Speaker, let me declare interest that I worked closely with the uh, nominee, Elio Dowalo, as he said, in UDA and in the Kenya Kwanza economic team. And I indeed appreciate his varied skills, even in microeconomic analysis. But, Honorable uh, Dowalo, maybe I would begin with the microeconomic analysis of your net worth. Yes. You indicate that you have land up country within Sierra County, valued at about 200 million shillings. Yes. I would want to know the acreage, whether it's one parcel and the acreage. Two, you indicate that you have about 200,000 Europhila eucalyptus trees sitting on 20 acres, valued at about 160 million. From basic arith arithmetics, means you have 10,000 trees per acre. I don't know how practical that would be to have 10,000 eucalyptus trees on per acre. Uh, that's on your net worth and is a quick microeconomic analysis now that you have very good expertise in that area. <laughs> uh, on uh, uh, what you are being nominated for, Elliot, the Postal Corporation of Kenya has leased numerous of its assets across the country. Buildings, land to individuals. I would want to hear whether you may want to review some of these leases and their benefit to the corporation because this is a corporation that's now on its deathbed. Employees at the Postal Corporation of Kenya are going for months without pay while uh, numerous of its assets are not deriving value for it. I'd also want to hear your thoughts on the sale of uh, Telcom Spectrum, especially in the last one year, Telcom Spectrum that have been sold and uh, to the benefit of two prominent families in this country and not to be the benefit of uh, the, the country or the, the sector that you're going to work in. Uh, I think I'll take that for now, Mr. Yes, yes, Honorable Chair. Uh, let me also declare that uh, uh, Mr. Walo and I both hail from Sierra County. And besides, we have worked uh, previously very closely with uh, Mr. Walo in ODM. I uh, remember during those days, Eliud, I, and a few others were what I would call ideological soulmates. And so on that basis that I want to proceed with my question. One, <clears throat> Mr. Wallow, you will recall.